This video is brought to you by iX Systems. Interested in a more interactive learning experience? iX Systems is offering professional free knowledge training. Also available is a free hour-long introduction class. Find out how you can register for the classes in the description below. In this tutorial, we will show you how to configure FreeNAS to install and use the Transmission plugin. Transmission is a fast, easy, and free BitTorrent client available on many platforms. First, we'll be creating a volume for storage. Head on over to the Storage tab. Click ZFS Volume Manager. I'll call this one Your Volume. Click plus to add all available disks. I will change this setting to RAID Z to use the most storage while still having protection against disk failure or corruption. Click add volume when done. Next we'll create a dataset for storage. Select the volume then click create ZFS dataset on the bottom menu. I'll call this one your dataset. Choose Unix or Windows slash Mac ACL depending on the computer you plan to share with. Then click Add Dataset when done. Now we'll create a user. On the left menu, click Account, User, then Add User. Give the user a name. I'll call this FreeNAS User. Go ahead and give it a home directory, which is your dataset. Now enter a full name and a password. Then click OK when done. Next we'll create a share. For this example, we will use a Windows SIF share. On the left side menu, click sharing, Windows share, then add Windows share. Give your share a name. I'll call it sharing is caring. Choose the path to the desired dataset. You can check allow anonymous access. Click OK when done. Then click yes to enable this service. Now we'll set the permissions on the storage dataset. If you are planning to share with a Unix machine, you can set the permissions directly from the change permissions dialog on this specific dataset. If you are planning to share with a Windows machine, you must change the settings from the Windows properties. First, we need to give the dataset user permissions. Select the dataset you are sharing. Click change permissions on the bottom menu. For owner, group, choose FreeNAS user. Then click change when done. Root user access is required to update the permissions. Since transmission needs permissions to download files, you need to give it read, write, execute permissions or full permissions if you are setting it up in a non-shared environment. On your Windows machine, connect to the shared dataset by tapping in backslash backslash followed by your FreeNAS address in the Explorer's address bar. Now, right click the shared folder you see and click map network drive. Check the box, connect using different credentials. Click finish when done. Type in the user information and password you created earlier, then click OK. Right click the folder and click properties. Go to the security tab and choose everyone. Click edit and give everyone full permissions. Click apply when done, then click OK. Let's test it out by disconnecting the network drive and reconnecting as an anonymous user. Try creating a folder to see if it works. Transmission should now be able to create and save folders and files. It's time to install the Transmission plugin. Go to Plugins on the top menu. Scroll down and select Transmission then click the install button. It will take a while if you haven't installed a plugin yet since it needs to download the jail template. The install may take a while so I will fast forward it. Once that is done, go to plugins, installed, then change the transmission plugin services to on. Now we need to add storage for jails. Go to Jails, click Transmission 1, and choose the Add Storage icon on the bottom menu. For Source, 
Choose the data set you created earlier in order to store and share the downloaded torrents. I chose your data set. For destination, choose a folder that is being unused, such as media. Click OK when done. Now we can configure and run transmission. Go to transmission under plugin. The port should be 9091. We will be using this port to access the transmission page. Now go to jails to see the IP it is using. Type in that IP address followed by colon 9091. The transmission page should show up. Click the wrench icon on the bottom. Change the download to box to slash media. Click on the folder icon on the top left to upload a torrent. You can upload a file or input a magnet link in the blank field. For this example, I will be using this torrent. Now, once you have downloaded a file, go to your Windows machine and access the shared folder. Your download torrent should now be accessible. That concludes our video on Transmission Plugin. This video was made possible by iX Systems, the sponsor and developer of the FreeNAS project. Many people have asked, how can they support the FreeNAS project? For those interested, we offer a wide range of storage products that leverage FreeNAS. For enterprise customers that need high availability and 24-7 support, we have TrueNAS. For business customers that need powerful and rock-solid FreeNAS storage, we offer FreeNAS certified storage. For home and small office use, we offer the FreeNAS Mini. For more information, visit ixsystems.com storage.